Thank you for joining us. Uh, how are you yeah. feeling about the match today? Um, I mean, I feel good. I'm happy that I was able to play well today and, uh, you know, to have the opportunity to play an another one. Fantastic. Uh, if there's no other questions in English, we'll move to Serbian. You can, you can, oh, English question. Yep, go ahead. Um, so, Mia, Mia, sorry, excuse me. I, I understand you said uh, at the Serbian media that you were, you know, you wanted to, to do something good for Novak in terms of, you know, win this match and, and go through. I may have had that translated to me incorrectly, but what were your thoughts about, you know, approaching this match? Um, I mean, I knew that, um, that I had, you know, unfortunately that, you know, he wasn't able to play and, you know, that he had to leave, um, you know, which left me with um, a lucky loser. So I knew that I had to, I had to, you know, give the best that I can, you know, and try to step up, you know, for him also. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, I know that we cannot do much for him. You know, especially during the, these these two weeks that he had, but um, you know, I'm, we're trying the best the best that we can. You know, to be there for him and to do as much as we possibly can. You know, for him to make him go through this period a little bit smoother, I guess. Um, I, I know, yeah, you're 12 years younger than Novak, but he was clearly someone you must have looked up to as well. The whole situation, how difficult is that, or has it been, to, to see this over the last 10 days? I mean, it wasn't easy, but then again, it wasn't as bad as he felt, uh, yeah. definitely. So, um, you know, it was, uh, I mean, in my opinion, you know, I think it wasn't handled well. And, you know, it, things could have gone so much smoother and better for everybody. Um, it's definitely terrible that they <laughs> they had to you know kick him out like that, um, but uh, you know uh, I definitely did still look up to him. You know he's uh, an amazing champion, and um, you know it was tough to to see that that you know happened to him. You know especially since I was looking forward to playing against him. You know on Rod Laver. You know it was gonna be a spectacular match um, but you know I feel terrible for him and you know I hope uh, I hope that he can uh, come through this even more stronger Mia, Mia, just with what happened with Novak did you and other Serbian players talk about it much talk about the issue and after he, he's had all these problems did you sort of say amongst each other that it would be great if you can all play really well and win your matches for Novak? Is that something? Uh, but yeah, of course. Uh, we definitely talked about it. It was um, hard to not talk about that topic uh, since it was, you know, happening right, you know, before our matches, um, especially me supposed to play him also. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, we tried. We said that we're going to give everything we have, uh, you know, try to uh, let's say avenge him in a way and you know make him proud uh, I know he's our best representative so it's definitely a shame that you know he's not able to uh, participate and represent Serbia but you know we're gonna give the best that we can and hopefully you know uh, we can we can make up for it in some way just a follow-up question on, on the vaccination thing in France they're talking about people not being able to have health exemptions to be unvaccinated to go into Roland Garros and compete at another Grand Slam and this looks like it could become the trend. I mean, is it a point where you would probably say to Novak maybe you could consider getting vaccinated? Uh, oh, oh, good. No. <laughs> <laughs> um... I mean, I heard that, that, you know, we're supposed to, that there's not going to be exemptions. But then I also heard a few days ago the health minister, somebody said that there will be for tennis players. So I, I honestly don't know, you know, what's going to happen. But um, he for sure achieved so much already. 
and done so much for everybody. I'm sure that uh, he's going to make the best decision for him and not take advice from, from a kid. <laughs>